Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm in photo booth. And I have an effect, the mirror effect, in fact. Okay, so I'm going to actually record 10 seconds of me in this mirror effect. Okay, here we go. I'm going to click this. And I'm going to go about 10 seconds. Oh, it didn't start yet. Here it goes. Okay. Okay, so that was like maybe 10, 11 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> not play it. Let's uh, click here to da, 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 add to photos. Okay, my photos here. Okay, so um, there it is down here. Okay, and it is 12 seconds. Okay, um, and I'm going to use that in After Effects to add some special effects to. And it's going to be like a kind of like a live video mixed with shapes moving around, mixed with special effects. Uh, like maybe it snows or something. So I'm going to get out of Photo Booth. I'm going to open After Effects, right? I'll just take you through that again. So we're going to go here with the rocket ship and we're going to open up After Effects CC 2018. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, new project. Oh, shoot. I did that too soon, didn't I? Uh, let's try that again. So I'm going to go file, new, new project. Uh, all right, whatever this is. Okay, so I'm going to click on new composition. Oh, that's where I wanted to be. And on new composition, I'm going to call this AE for After Effects. Um, FX because it's special effects live because we have live action uh, FL okay and we have the HCTV 1080p 10 seconds is fine I'm going to click OK and I'm going to import that video that I just shot and I need to go find that guy right so Let's see if I open up my photos and I go to Finder and I go to Documents and I go to uh, create a new folder. I'm going to call this new folder FX. No, AE FX Live FL. Right. So I'll go up here to where did it go? There it is. Okay, A E F X Live F L. It's alphabetical. That's how I'm sorting my folders. So that's why it moved over here. Okay, double click there. I grab my twelve second video. Uh, let's cancel out of this. Let's try this again here. Uh, yeah, get this over here and then get to my photos. Right. And then grab that and take it over there. There we go. Okay. Good. Now I can close this out. So I've got my video in my project file folder. Okay. So I'll go import that now. So it doesn't say After Effects. I'll click here. It says After Effects. And let's see, I want to file, import, file, and documents, and I go there, AEFX Live FL, click on my video, 
open it. And I'm going to click hold and drag it down to the layer panel. And now I have it in my video. All right, so if I hit the space bar, it will play my video. Okay. Okay. So hit the space bar and, ooh, let's see. Um, I can hold the shift key down and grab the corner edit box. I think, yeah, hold the shift key down and I can resize it if I want. So it fills the frame or I can make it smaller. Okay. So what I might do is uh, have this video there for now and see what I might do with shapes going around there. So to do that, I'm going to go here to layer, new, shape layer, and when it ahead and click in the middle of the shape and get a list of the other shapes. <coughs> you get a star, star tool. And I'm going to have my fill and my stroke set. I'm going to draw a star. <coughs> Excuse me. Click on the selection tool so I can have my star where I want it. Make sure the scrubber's at zero. And I'm going to go and on the poly star right there, open up transform, and I'm going to have position there. So I'm going to click the stopwatch, and then I'm going to move it over to let's say two seconds and I'm gonna put it down there oh that's what's wrong oh no no let me command Z uh, remember I'm gonna hold the Y down and I'm gonna move that pivot point that anchor point oh come on now wait let me command Z and let me put the scrubber back to zero <clears throat> and let me click out I don't know, I guess I gotta click on the shape, hold the Y down, click, hold, and move that anchor point or pivot point to the middle of my my shape, my star. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and do my animation, keyframe animation, moving it around. Get it up there. Kind of see what I'm doing. Try to come down a little. And it's kind of have it dance around a little bit with the live action video behind it. Scoot on out. Okay, so that's my shape animation. And now I'm going to collapse all that stuff. Okay, so I've got my two layers now my shape layer and my live action movie. And now I'm going to go back up here to layer, new. And I'm going to do solid this time. Doesn't matter. None of this matters, right? It just matters that I have a solid for a layer. And it doesn't matter that it covers everything up because here I go up to effect and I have all these different ones. I'm going to go to simulation and I'm going to go to uh, rainfall. All right. And I don't know how to use rainfall. Ha ha ha, but that's okay. I'll figure it out right now. <clears throat> uh, 
Let's see, wind speed reset. Let me command Z to make sure I did that right. Okay, so got this selected. I'm gonna to go to effect, simulation, and I'm gonna to go to particle systems. Okay, well that worked okay. Oh yeah, I'll just use this, what the heck. And I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna play around with that setting. So I'm gonna open up my magenta solid, go to effects, go to the particle system. And here's where I could play around a little bit with uh, some of the physics, go to the physics particle. And here's gravity, velocity, yeah, this is the one I wanted. So let's see, go here. Uh, I can increase gravity, All right? And let's see, I can affect the direction. Not sure how well that's working. Let's see. All right, you got the idea. I'm going to move it though. I'm going to have it more down here. Okay, so that's what you're looking to do mix up um, all kinds of uh, different special effects that, that you can put in with this. Uh, live action video that you make and try to have the video relate to uh, whatever you're trying to do on the special effects side with the shapes moving around uh, have it you know simulate the live action video uh, kind of uh, working with those shapes and special effects uh, when you're ready to export it when you're ready to export this video okay you're going to uh, Click down here to get the timeline selected. Go up here to File, go to Export, Add to Media uh, Encoder. Let that guy open up. And we're still waiting. There it is. Uh, we want to click here on the output file. And we want to make sure we're going into our AEFX Live FL folder. That's important. Click Save. And then click Play. And when this is done, you're going to have... Uh, this AEFX live FL dot MP4 in your folder that you can upload to your video page. Make sure you label it. So here it comes. So you just to summarize, you want to go ahead and get some of these special effects and shape uh, key, uh, keyframe animation on the shapes to move around the screen and uh, to interact with the live action video that you do. Uh, kind of come up with something clever. All right, you can see mine's finishing up. It's done. Now I can go to my folder, my documents, my AEFX FL, and I can see my videos right here. And that's the one I'd upload to Web Starts. Okay, good luck.